Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and today is Green Day of Time Spiral Remastered Previews. So let's go on a little holiday as I show off my four green preview cards for today. All of my cards today, originally from Time Spiral Block, have references all over them. So let's kick it off. The first one is a Spell Shaper. Now all the way back in Mercadian Masks, there was a creature type called Spell Shaper, and they all had a very similar, well, shape. You could pay some mana, tap them, and discard a card to get an effect. And most of the time, this effect matched a previous magic spell. So you could cast things like Unsummon or Fog over and over and over again. So given that these were creatures which already had a history of referencing past magic spells, it made a ton of sense to do more of them in the reference-laden time spiral block. And a common one in green, which is very nice, is Green Seeker. This one casts Lay of the Land over and over and over again. And this does a few really important things. The first, and most obviously, is it just fixes your colors. You can play a three, four, or even five color deck with Green Seeker at your side. But a second one is it also thins your deck. By discarding a land to its effect to find another land in Limited, you'll quickly run out of lands in your deck, letting you draw more spells. And finally, it is a discard outlet. So with all the madness running around in your set, it's pretty awesome to get it rolling with a Green Seeker. Fun design fact, I looked up the history of Green Seeker, and originally it cast Sylvan Scrying instead of Lay of the Land, which let you find any land in your deck instead of just a basic one. I guess the world will never know the tyranny of Green Seeker Tron. Because just referencing one obscure old magic card was a little too easy, I guess, there are a number of cards in Time Spiral Block, which are two obscure cards, often with no connection to each other, that are merged together in some way. For example, there's the classic Electric Eel plus Cloud Gin equals Storm Cloud Gin, and two Cyclopean Mummies plus Cyclopean Tomb equals Cyclopean Giant. Well, a third one that shows up in this set is Scrib Sprites plus Quirian Ranger equals Scrib Ranger. Why protection from blue and flash? Well, I looked up the design notes and protection from blue was because of concerns about blue skies decks at the time. Flash, I got nothing on. I guess it's a fast fairy. It is with my deepest apologies to all of the judges out there that I show off my next preview card, Life and Limb. This is a card which is a staple of judge tests and just weird sideways rules questions. It might not look that bad, but then before you know it, you throw a Blood Moon or Magus of the Moon, which is in this very set, into the mix, and you're trying to figure out if your saplings are also mountains. Now, Life and Limb is also an homage to an old obscure magic card. Living Lands was showed up all the way back in Alpha. One fun combo you can do with Life and Limb is play a Spore Mound. If you trigger a Spore Mound with Life and Limb on the battlefield, you'll create a Sapperling token, which is a forest, and that triggers Spore Mound again, and so on and so forth, making endless tokens. But the problem is that Spore Mound is a mandatory effect. So unless those tokens are doing something as they're entering the battlefield, for example, dealing a point of damage to your opponents, you've just drawn the game for everybody. But enough about drawing the game and obscure magic card references. Let's get on to today's bonus sheet card of the day. And this is a big one. I mean, it's truly giant. It's a card you all have asked for since you first heard about the bonus sheet. And that card is Primeval Titan. The only one of the five Titan cycle to show up in Time Spiral Remastered, this card is a modern staple. Whether powering up your Valakuts or coming into play off a of Through the Breach to do all kinds of Amulet of Vigor shenanigans, this card will kill your opponent. It's so powerful, it even had to be banned in Commander. Sorry, Commander players. There's a lot of other cool green cards in the set for you. That does it for green preview cards here on Good Morning Magic. I'll be back tomorrow for multicolored, land, and my personal favorite of the old card frames, Artifact Day, to show off three new cards. My bonus sheet card for tomorrow is a land which was previously a common and part of a cycle. Can you figure it out? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk with you again then. And in the meantime, may you get plenty of lands. You got this. Believe it or not, at one point in time, scry was not an evergreen keyword. 
and Future Sight marked the triumphant return of Scry to Magic. Scry would be pretty popular in Future Sight and was a good stepping stone to showing up in more sets like Theros before eventually becoming Evergreen. And now 